This is how I clean flasks using an Instapot. Um, this is before I create any type of media or anything. So I already have some in here. I'm in my kitchen, so I'm going to put them in this to bring them downstairs and put them in the sterile room where I store them. I've got this open and I'm gonna spray this down with um, a disinfectant chemical. You can use bleach or alcohol. Don't mix stuff together though. Make sure you spray every inch of it, wear a mask. Um, today I'm using ammonium chloride. Now I've got everything in, I'm gonna spray all those down and then close this lid and seal it. That is done, so now we're going to add more flasks to the Instapot, which I'm using as an autoclave. For anything metal like forceps, you are going to want to put them in tin foil. Wrap them up like this and then bend the edges over and put them on top. This is all done. Now I'm gonna add water to it and put it in here. Wanna warn you guys, make sure you are not putting anything in here that should not go in here. There's only one type of plastic that can be autoclaved. These lids are not it, which is why they're bent. Um, I just melted some of these flasks I thought were able to be in the autoclave, but um, apparently not. Now let's close the lid, set it on, and we're gonna put sterilize and then high and more, so it'll be 30 minutes. That's basically it. Once that's done, we'll put it in here and take it downstairs.